We now have Cindy, and Cindy wants to save up money to buy a new car. The car costs $25,000, and Cindy is going to invest her money into an account. Okay, bank problem. That compounds monthly at 4.7%. Again, make sure R is in decimal form for three years. How much money must Cindy put into her account? This tells us that we're looking for the initial amount she must put in, and we know that she wants to end up with $25,000. Now we have all our variables. We can plug them into the equation. We get $25,000 equals P times 1 plus 0 0.047 over 12 to the 12 times 3. Again, be careful about your order of operations. We get 25,000 equals P times 0 0.047 divided by 12 is 0 0.0039. We want to add 1 to that value. We get 1.0039 to the 36. 25,000 equals P times 1.151. P equals 25,000 divided by 1.151, which gives us 21718.21. Thus, Cindy must invest. $21,718.21 if she wants to have $25,000 after three years. Okay, before we move on, I do want you to notice that that takes a long time for, it is a considerable raise, so we get about $3,300 over the course of three years. That's actually a really good return, and most bank accounts do not have such a high percent interest. They actually have much, much lower, around 1%, or maybe, if you're lucky, a little bit higher. Moral of the story is invest, invest soon, and invest a lot. And that's the best way that you can earn money from interest in your savings. Next, we're going to talk about continuous rate. This is our third situation. If you're ready to talk about continuous rate, move on to the next video. Otherwise, review these two about the bank problem and your basic exponentials.